Streak Talk! Yeah! Welcome to Streak Talk. I am your host, Jason, and this is for Sunday, March the 1st. Well, first of the month, you know what that means. Everything starts anew. This month, we not only have, of course, the monthly prize, we not only have the stash, we have, that's right, one million dollars. That's right, one million dollars. How do they do it? Well, they got a sponsor, of course, Hot Pockets Branded Sandwiches. Hot Pockets, they're hot, they're pockets, they're branded, and they're sandwiches. I don't know. I don't care. All I care about is that million dollars. In your face, Flo. But how are we going to get to a W-40? That's what it's going to require. Well, maybe we have a better chance of lassoing a unicorn with a rainbow. But hope springs eternal, right? You can't get to W-40 without getting to W-1 first. And I got it right here. California Golden Bears hosting the Oregon State Beavers. Now, California comes in 16 and 12 overall, sort of a middling Pac-12 team, 10 and 7 at home. Oregon State, same type of deal, uh, 17 and 11 overall, but a terrible 2 and 8 road record. California, three-point favorites at home. Oregon State, as I said, struggling on the road, lost four out of their last five. All of those losses, they've been held under 60 points, including their last game a 75 to 48 drubbing at the hands of Stanford. Well, as I mentioned, middling Pac-12 teams to lo even lower level Pac-12 teams, and the statistics bear that out. Oregon State comes in 321st in the nation in points per game, 299th in rebounds per game, 232nd in field goal percentage. Terrible numbers. California comes in with terrible numbers, but maybe half as terrible. I don't know. California, 196th points per game in the nation, 125th in rebounds per game in the nation, and 158th in field goal percentage. So as I said, still bad numbers, but not as bad as Oregon State. Oregon State, led by, of course, Gary Payton II, the Glove Jr., if you will, and leading his team in points rebounds, which tells you a lot as a six foot three person leading their team in rebounds per game. Second in assists, and of course he's just like his father, leading in steals. 3.0 pilfers per game. The only other player for the Beavers scoring in double digits is Victor Robbins. So if you think Oregon State's going to come in and be Gary Payton versus California, you're probably not going to get that done. They're going to need someone else to set up, step up. It's going to have to start with Victor Robbins. Meanwhile, on the Cal Bears, they're going to run that three-guard lineup. Uh, Tyrone Wallace leading the team in points, rebounds, and assists per game, getting help from Jordan Matthews and, of course, Jabari Bird with David Cavish doing some work down low. Now, in their last game, uh, Wallace had an off game. It cost them a victory. Jabari Bird did pour in 22 points, but they're going to have to, first and foremost, take care of the ball. There's nothing that you need to do to help a team struggling than give them free layups on the other end as uh, the Glove Jr. steals the ball and takes an uncontested layup at the other end. So make Oregon State work for their points, and Cal should come out on top for this game. Now, Stat of the day, brought to you by, of course, Hot Pockets Branded Sandwiches. Now with 30% more pocket, Oregon State in Berkeley has not won since 2009. That's last decade. That's not going to happen Sunday as well. I'm going to go California for the green. I think they keep it going. And remember, never forget, try the Hot Pockets. They're breathtaking. They are breathtaking. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you next time on Street Talk.